presents for George and Charlotte Kate and William pick up gifts at Whistle Factory. William and Kate were given brass whistles to take home for their children, prompting William to joke, don't show that to George, we'll never get any peace. The future king made the joke as he and Kate were presented with their own personalized gifts, an engraved air ministry whistle and a rose gold whistle on a necklace, as well as a selection of musical whistles for George, 4, and Charlotte, 2. Kate, 35, was handed a bag containing an assortment of presents for their children, including two brass samba whistles, a plastic slide whistle and a wooden duck call. The samba whistles are used to play tunes at the Rio and Notting Hill carnivals, while the slide whistle is probably best known for creating the sound of children's television show The Clangers. Thank you so much, the Duchess said. This will be a special reminder of our visit. William and Kate toured Acme Whistles, the creator of the first ever police whistle, during a day of engagements in Birmingham. The 147-year-old, family-owned business still hand makes its products which includes sports whistles used in football and ice hockey. The royal couple were given a tour to see the production process, including plating, molding, and welding, firsthand. They also unveiled a plaque to commemorate their visit. During the tour the Duke and Duchess, who have a cocker spaniel called Lupo, were shown dog whistles, which cannot be heard by humans. Clearly knowledgeable on the subject, Kate said, there are different pitches for different dogs, aren't there? Chief Executive Simon Topman, who runs the business with his wife Debbie, told William, yes, your grandmother would use something that is great for her Labradors and Retrievers, but wouldn't be for your Spaniel. William, 35, who knows his whistles, or had been checked before the visit, told him, no, we use a 212. During their tour the couple laughed when worker Elizabeth Fox, 57, told them she had a crush on William's uncle Prince Andrew. I asked after Prince Andrew, she said. I've always liked him, he's absolutely lovely. We're the same age. They laughed and said he was fine. I also congratulated Kate on her pregnancy and asked how she was feeling, and she said she's okay. Silversmith Ray Stone who plates and polishes commemorative items, including a five-pound coin made by Royal Mint to mark the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh's platinum wedding anniversary, told William and Kate that the royal family had kept him in a job for years. So I'd like to thank the royal family, he said. We aim to please, Ray quipped William. The couple also met apprentices, as well as workers who had been there for decades. James McLaughlin, 32 told William that he is autistic and that this makes him better at his job of assembling the whistles. Mr. Topman told the couple how the company was founded in 1870 by toolmaker Joseph Hudson, who borrowed 20 pounds from the police force to fulfill his first order. To date, the company has developed and patented over 40 whistle designs and currently exports to 119 countries worldwide where their modern whistles are used in major sporting events globally and by police forces, including the Metropolitan Police. A proud Mr. Topman said after the visit, we were able to show their royal highnesses every aspect of whistle-making from the beginnings of the sports whistle, invented here in 1884, to the silent dog whistle, invented here in 1935, to the very first police whistle from 1883. We were able to show them originals and modern counterparts and show the manufacturing processes that we use. It's nice to have had a royal visit. It's taken us nearly 150 years, but for us, it's a very memorable landmark.